It's time for another student ministry confessional. How you doing? It's me, Chris, and my my dog son. He wanted to sit up here with me, so I figured I'd let him sit with me. Hey, um, last night we had our second um, large group environment of the year, and uh, it was pretty cool. Let me just get right to it. Um, God showed up. Students came out again. I, it was so funny because I was praying. I'm like, God, are the kids going to come out again? And it never fails. They show up, and uh, God shows up, and it's a cool thing. Um, we we actually had a little bit of a another problem. It seems I think we have a lot of musicians on the worship team, and, and so there's a little bit of an adjustment with our soundboard. We have a very small soundboard. So we really uh, had an adjustment there, and, there's, and I think there's a learning curve as well. But it got done a little bit earlier than last week, and we were able to get right into We had some games that we were playing. We played Medic Dodgeball, which is sick, and I can't wait for my knee to be better so I can start blowing these kids away. I love it. Um, not very competitive, though, can you tell? Um, but went into, uh, we had Medic. We, we were playing some games and playing a little bit of trivia, walking around with a microphone in the environment. And we went right into um, our seating area, and TJ... Um, our game maestro, props to TJ, the game maestro, he hooked us up with Dirty Diaper. Um, I'm sure some of you have heard of it, but it's disgusting. You basically take a diaper and you put a melted candy bar, it looks like, like poop. And uh, the kids loved it. We had a couple of kids win and guess the right candy bar that was melted in their poopy diaper. It's kind of disgusting, but it works. The kids dug it and, uh, and, and yeah, we just got a little giggle out of them there. But right into the worship time, Jeff did another blow-up job. Um, kids were all into it. You know, it's just cool watching students um, praise God and and our praise. And uh, we're working on a video. I'll, I'll be able to show you guys what our uh, our praise and worship time is like. And it's pretty amazing. God is really um, stirring some of our students, and and they're really uh, responding in the praise time. And and then we go into the teaching. I taught this week. Our second core value last week I taught reach, and this week I taught grow, and uh, we're definitely uh, just pounding home some of our values so students are aware of what we're really trying to accomplish here. We're not just a bunch of people get together on Wednesdays just to party, but we want to grow as Christ followers, and those who aren't Christ followers, it's an opportunity for you to get into uh, a growth pattern spiritually where you can meet Jesus and then grow. So it's a cool thing. So we had some students respond uh, last night. We moved into a praise time. Again, Jeff led us into a time. I mean, to worship time, and Jeff led us into an incredible time there, where um, students were engaging in the worship, and um, some of the songs were just really gripping. Um, I will lift my eyes is one of the songs we did, and I, I don't know who sings it. It's just a real uh, touching, you know, kind of a thought-provoking song about. Uh, about the Lord, and uh, I will lift my eyes to the maker of the mountains I can't climb. Just good stuff. Really, uh, really, the students enjoy that. We move into announcements. Again, we're getting better. I could still use some input, and you guys are just, like, holding back on me. Help a brother out. Give me some ideas. That's why I bring it up. So some of you youth pastors or even, I don't care who you are, have if you have some ideas for announcements, throw them at me. I don't know. It may work. So uh, announcements, doing a little better. We have Lindsay doing this. She does a bang-up job, but um, I'd like to be able to give her something better to work with. So let me know what you guys do. We finished up, tore down. We actually really pumped our life groups last night, which we're moving into a small group environment. Um, we, we've kind of had a semi-small group environment it's with our middle school and high school. Now we're breaking it down a little bit more. We're having middle school guys, high school guys, middle school girls, and high school girls, and we're just breaking them down. We're calling life groups. And as, as of right now, uh, we have over 50 students involved in life groups, which is unbelievable. I never expected that type of response. And we reach a lot of students numerically, but a lot of students we're reaching, they're not, they're, they're Families don't attend our congregation. They're just neighborhood kids, and they come out to our large group environment. And so for a small group participation, I think we had a great response. And I'm really looking forward to hearing how God you know, speaks in the life of these students. We're using the student life a Bible study material, and we love it. We've been using it for about five months now, and it's simple, web-based. It's unbelievable. So if you're looking for some good small group material check out student life bible study don't sleep on it 
Um, there's a lot of other good stuff out there, but we like because of the web-based thing. But I hope everybody else is doing well. Don't be afraid to confess now. Please, don't be afraid to confess. You know what I'm saying? Hey.